Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 32 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So in this system, we can say we have a conducting bar is located on a two long frictionless railway, right? The magnetic field density is perpendicular to this railway and it's pointing out. Question. First one, when we give a initial push to this bar, will this bar travels at a constant speed? See keyword, constant speed, tell us the acceleration is zero, right? So acceleration is zero, tell us the force is balanced. This is a requirement. The question is ask you, when we give a push to this magnetic to this bar, this bar travels, right? Will this force balanced on this bar? Of course, there is no force acting on it, right? You can see when the bar cut the magnetic field as wind is moving, yes, there will have the induced EMF on this bar. But see, there is a no loop, so there is no current. No current, so we couldn't have magnetic force. Right, this is the thing. The second one tell us this time we connect point A and B. So now there is a loop. Agree? And then now look at this loop. We can see, um, ask you, uh, can you calculate the terminal speed? So how can we do that? We can see when this bar moves to the right, the magnetic flux in this loop will increase. Do you agree? So. How can we decide the induced current in this bar? We can see the Lorentz law. As we talk about, this pointing out will increase. The induced current will generate the induced magnetic field to compensate that. To compensate that, the, the, out, the pointing out increases. So we will generate pointing in. Agree? Yeah, pointing in. So we use the right hand rule to determine the induced current as a clockwise direction. Um, we can say you use your thumb point in and your four fingers will rotate in this way. Right? You can in the clockwise direction. Next question, how can you determine the magnetic field and magnetic force of four directions? Still right hand rule, you can say uh, uh, your net your net magnetic field dance goes through your right hand, right? So you just uh, open your right hand, and net it goes through it. So that means uh, net it goes through the Amazon. See your four fingers pointing, your four fingers pointing to the induced current direction. So your thumb will pointing this way. So your thumb pointing this way, so pointing in the to the left direction, right? So this is the direction for the magnetic force. See, this magnetic force will produce the acceleration to just make the velocity decrease, decrease, right? See, how can we do that? First of all, we need to see the, mag the magnetic force is the net force in this situation. So net force equal to the mass times acceleration. This acceleration is at the opposite direction with the velocity, so we have a negative side there. Mm -hmm. So, looks like, first of all, we need to find the magnetic force, right? See, it is BIL, we learned in this textbook, and the current I is the induced current, becomes the induced EMF divided by R, resistance. And the induced EMF is BLV, so we input the I and the epsilon inside, we get a function for this magnetic force. And then we input this term inside, we can see the function looks like this one. Then how can we solve it? We can see, we just solve it in this way, right? See, this is a V, this is a V, so we move this uh, V at one side and move the T at another side, agree? And do the integral at both sides. So at the left hand side, we can say initial is zero, finally the time is T. Initial the velocity is V naught, finally the uh, velocity is V. 
And then we do the integral. We get the equation look like that. We organize it. We get the final answer there. Thank you.